Do you want better hardware support or more drivers for the devices that you use? Why don't you consider upgrading your kernel? That's what we're going to do today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Alright, what I'm about to show you here will work about on just about any uh, Linux distribution that is based on Ubuntu. It's helpful to note here that if you do not have any proprietary display drivers such as the FGLRX or the Novo drivers installed, upgrading your kernel in Ubuntu is really easy. Now, I'm using a derivative of Ubuntu 11.04 is my main operating system, but you can use the Oneric Ocelot uh, kernels that are available on Ubuntu site. Now, according to the Linux kernel archives, it is saying the latest stable version is 3.04. And if we go to the kernel main pipeline here, you can see, as we scroll down here, that they have 304, but you could also get 305 or 306. Well, since they say that the uh, kernel is, you know, that's a stable one, the 304 is stable, that is the one we're going to get. Now, something to note is that you need to keep an eye on this. You need to know which type of distribution you're using, whether you're using a 64 or a 32 bit. If you're using a 64-bit uh, operating system, you're going to need to get the AMD 64, the all deb here, and then the image AMD 64. If you're using 386, then you're going to have to get the 386, the all, and then the image 386. Okay? All right, let's begin. This is really easy, by the way. I'm going to go ahead and I've already done this on my computer. I'm running 304 right now. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and pull this up. You can see here that I have Lubuntu 11.10 already open, and I've got my wonderful desktop effects uh, working, and it took a lot of tinkering to get it done. Let me tell you, I've been at this for a few hours trying to figure this out, but I finally got it working to my satisfaction. All right, first, uh, we're going to open up a terminal here, and I want to show you that uh, we're using an older kernel. This ships with kernel 3. That's okay, but what if I want to play Bleeding Edge and have the latest? Well, I went ahead and I downloaded the devs already. And now what we need to do is simply double click them depending on which distribution you're using I'm going to tell these to open in GW and we're going to do it in this order first <coughs> excuse me <coughs> first we're going to open the Linux header file and install that and I'm going to use GW package manager but like I said you can double click them and uh, install them in your system it'll open up the Ubuntu software center and install it that way let this install. I'm just going to do these one at a time. Alright, first one's installed. Do the next one. This one's the Linux headers. Generic is in there. So the first one is Linux headers, then the Linux headers number generic. Now the beauty of this is if things mess up a little bit on you, 
you can always revert back to your original kernel. Because it will be in the list that Grub provides you at boot. Installation's finished on that one. And we'll start the next one. Okay, and then the final installation has finished. Don't know why it's misbehaving like that, but at least we know that the packages have installed fully. I have a lot of CPU running though at the same time, so. Okay, let's go ahead and restart the computer. Alright, we have rebooted. Unfortunately, the Grub menu did not come up. I went online and looked to find a resolution. I tried it and it still didn't work. So, Lubuntu is not beginner friendly. Especially getting the Compiz effects to work. It took me about an hour and a half to uh, even get the effects working the way I wanted them to. So, uh, but at any rate, we did upgrade our kernel usually on uh, other distributions uh, you'll see the changes take effect and you'll see the uh, any other Ubuntu deriver derivatives but for some reason uh, apparently the people at Canonical do not want us to see the grub menu anymore I'm sure there is a solution for it but because these are new operating systems uh, there aren't many people asking those questions just yet. But uh, we're back to our happy, happy 3D desktop, and let's open up the terminal. And let's issue a command. U-N-A-M-E, pack R. And as you can see, we're running kernel 304, and I had a chance to play around with this before restarting the camera. It appears everything is working just fine. So we can actually, if I wanted to go in at another time and uh, clear out the old kernel, I could actually do that. So, so thus far it looks really cool. And if you have any questions, please fill out the contact form below. Remember, I'm not an expert at this. So if you're looking for how to get the grub menu to come up in this, you're going to have to do some digging around on uh, online and uh, ask Mr. Google. Mr. Google is your friend there. All right, and uh, I'd like to thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.